Hello everyone, it's Keep Garden Tech Guy here with another video, and today I'm going to be looking at the Acer Switch 5. So let's look at the features and specs. The Acer Switch 5 was announced alongside the Acer Switch 3 detachable tablet or 2 in 1 computer. I already did a video on the Switch 3, so today I'm going to do on the Switch 5, which is a higher end spec top model or a mid range between the Switch 3 and the Switch Alpha 12. So, for pricing, it will start at $700 US and it will have that price on micro center on the online store and you can get it for $822.99 on PC mall and it will have a price of $803 on Amazon but the starting price will be $700 US it's a bit similar to the other switch 3 is that it has a bigger display and a quite similar keyboard it has it's a bit thinner also but the hinge is very similar and of course there's a little socket for your stylus pen there and also right there we can see the power button with seconds as a fingerprint sensor also and it has a headphone jack located to the top also so it has everyday, it's aimed at everyday use with a premium fuel tank to the metal uh, unibody design with the cuts also and the fingerprint sensor is located right alongside with the power button in the same position and it also has the Windows Hello feature which is one upgrade from the Switch 2 and with that you can basically unlock your tablet this device to adjust your face and it's easily adjustable where it has a retracting kickstand it's auto retracting which it also has a U shape also and it can be set for up to 165 degrees so this is good for artists or even for binge watching some of your favorite Netflix movies or series and with that it has a it's easy to grip whereas to it's also durable the hinge, the hinge itself also is durable so if you happen to jam it or drop it once or twice it will not break or easy break easily because it has curved rigid edges and the keyboard is a full size magnetic snap and it is easily raised for comfortable typing the keyboard is also backlit the detachable keyboard so if you're in the day or night it's easily <coughs> detachable and it's also ergonomic where it's angled for great typing positions so the fact that you have a full size keyboard for a tablet it's gonna be pretty cool plus it also has a trackpad built into the keyboard also and since it's a detachable tool one you also have support for windows inc version 6.7 the latest version also and it's gonna be great for watching media and so forth when you have specs of a windows 10 home you also have a 2.50 intercore i5 processor and the display is 12 inches with a resolution of 2160 by 1440 so this, this display is going to be a 1440p display and you have graphics with integrated intel hd 620 graphics with 8 gigs of memory or 8 gigs of ram and you have 256 gigs ssd so even with 8 gigs of ram it's going to be enough to handle some gaming but it will be more effective if you have an external GPU drive for gaming and the display oh I'm sorry it's not 1440p but it's full HD plus so yes it's 
1440p so it's full HD plus resolution which is plus uh, whereas the dimensions as I said earlier is 1440p in pixels so that's the pixel resolution so it has a full HD plus which is good for editing photos sketching and you get crisp clear images and photos from the display alongside that you have the Acer Active Stylus 4 so it enables accurate and direct on-screen digital ink input providing a natural print on paper experience which Acer claims to bring and it's cool perfection it doesn't have a fan still means it's going to be quiet but not having a fan on a on any computer brings its advantages where still it has extreme heating although this device has vents it's going to be a bit uneasy for heating but although it doesn't have a fan it has Acer's liquid loop cooling system for calm noise and a free atmosphere so the liquid loop Fanless heat pipe is a cooling system, whereas evaporation and condensation of liquid dispense heat offers unparalleled improvements and noise dust reduction. So it's basically a little loop of liquid coolant, so it keeps the processor components cooled and so forth. So if so, you get efficient cooling, but no noise because there is no fan, and the battery claim it to give you up to 10 and a half hours of battery life which is essentially a full day in life usage and it has Acer's True Harmony sound and it also has Acer's smart amplifier so if you are going to be a DJ or something you can uh, like use the smart amplifier to Customly optimize the power output of the speaker peaks and so forth. So a technology like this would be great for a DJ or a producer also. It may not be the best audio technology out there, but for a tablet or in two one, it's pretty great. And for the models and configurations, there are currently two models selling on Asia's website, which would be one with the Intel i5 with a quad AC display Intel 620 graphics with 256 gigs SSD and 8 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and the processor will be a Core i5-7200U and there is also a Core i7 model which will be a 7500U with a 2.70 GHz processor as aside from the Core i5 250 GHz and has 512 gigs of SSD and the Core i7 will cost $1000 and the Core i5 will cost $800 essentially from Acer's website you can also get a Core i5 model on PCM's website for $822.99 with the Quad HD display with Windows 10 on 64 bit and 256 gigs SSD with the Core i5 model for on PCM.com. You can also get the same dual Core i5 model on microcenter.com for just $700 with the same configuration with a 25 with sorry a 2.5 gigahertz dual core CPU so you can get the same configuration but cheaper on microcenter.com and also the core i5 model is also available on Amazon also for $803 but the core i7 model will only be available from Acer directly for a thousand dollars but you can get the core i5 models from microcenter pcm.com and amazon so that is it key for bottom tech guys sign out the full specs and features of the Acer switch 5 uh, hybrid computer
know what you guys think about this in the comments like this video also share it also something interesting and i'll see you guys in the next one bye